Hey guys, Anthony DiClemente here, author of The Biohacker's Guide. And when we think of chemicals in our environment and some of the things that disrupt our health and can keep us from losing weight and feeling the way that we wanna feel, we think of toxins in our deodorant and the water we drink and the food we eat and the air we breathe, but what we don't think about is electromagnetic fields and the way that they cause toxins in our body. Now, let me explain what I'm talking about. If you're scratching your head a little bit right now, we're exposed to electromagnetic fields all the time. And most of those, like what comes from your microwave, are microwave radiation. That's coming from our cell phones, that's coming from our laptops, it's coming from Wi-Fi and uh, routers. And what happens when we're around that type of energy is it releases a toxin in our cells called peroxynitrate. This destroys the little energy powerhouses of our cells called mitochondria. It can make us tired. It can make us sick. It can make it difficult for us to lose weight, get the good quality sleep that we want, and just feel overall relaxed. So in this video, we're gonna quickly go through some of the most important ways that you can protect yourself, your family, from this type of toxin, and make sure that you're feeling the best you can feel every single day and living life as the greatest expression of yourself. So let's start off in the office and with one of the greatest sources of EMFs in our world, it's this cell phone. So when we're on our cell phone, especially for more than three hours a day, we start seeing this thing that's very interesting happen on a cellular level. These little channels on the doors of our cells get jammed open. They're called voltage-gated calcium channels. Our cells get flooded with calcium ions and this releases nitric oxide and produces that toxin peroxynitrate. If you guys wanna nerd out, you can look up all this stuff. There's studies, million dollar studies now coming out. One that just recently came out in March was called the Ramazzini study out of Italy and it showed a direct link between cell phones, cell towers, Wi-Fi, and cancer. So if you guys wanna look into this, I know it may sound a little bit outlandish at first, that's what I thought even just a few years ago, but you'll see that this is all important. So some of the ways to protect yourself from the cell phone, 80% of the time you wanna be in airplane mode. That's this little icon here that looks like an airplane. It's easy to bring up, all you gotta do is swipe up, you click this button, now it's out of airplane mode. When I click the button, now it's in airplane mode and it's not transmitting. So I've already massively decreased my exposure to some of those toxins from the cell phone. Another big source is our laptop. So I have the internet directly plugged into my laptop so the Wi-Fi router is not transmitting. And I'll show you guys that in just a second using a tool. But I wanna show you guys a little bit of the difference where if this laptop is transmitting. So let's turn Wi-Fi on, let's turn Bluetooth on, and I wanna show you guys, this is a very simple meter. It's called the Cornet Tri-Mode Meter. This measures all three of the main types of electromagnetic fields. It's got your microwave radiation or your radio frequency, it's got your magnetic frequencies, and it's got your electric frequencies. So as you get closer, the reason I like this a lot is because it's got green, yellow, red. So it's very easy to see. You're good, you're in the danger zone, you're in trouble. Right now, with my computer transmitting, you can see we're already in the yellow and sometimes it'll even spike into the red. If I had the Wi-Fi router going as well, which I don't, we'd see this in the red. If I wanna immediately get that down, you go up to this part of your laptop. If you can get a close up here, you've got the part of your laptop that's associated with Wi-Fi. You turn your Wi-Fi off, you turn your Bluetooth off. Now give it a second and you'll see that exposure drop. Now we're back in the green. Very simple hack to protect yourself because we're around our laptops all the time. You'll also notice I've got an external keyboard, an external mouse, so I'm not putting my hands on a keyboard that is oftentimes plugged directly into the power grid. All of that goes right through your body, and if your body isn't, if you're not outside or the grounding system on your house isn't good, you're not gonna be able to get rid of that charge, and then it stays in your body and can cause some negative health effects. So I'm gonna have Tony come up here and see where we've got the router. We've got it hardwired. And one of the things that you wanna do when you get your router hardwired is check it and make sure that it's not transmitting. So you take your Cornet meter, which you can get at lessemf.com, and you just make sure that you're in the green. And that is, it spiked a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, we may have, <laughs> we've got the smart TV plugged in, which is a good point too. That's why it's picking up on the signal from the smart TV on the other side of the room. But this router is not transmitting. If you don't wanna switch from Wi-Fi to Ethernet, if you're not ready yet, all you gotta do is make sure to unplug your Wi-Fi router at night. And the reason is because it suppresses our melatonin production. We're seeing thousands of clients with 20% of the melatonin, that important sleep hormone for helping us get REM sleep and deep sleep that protects our brain 
from Alzheimer's, dementia, and neurodegenerative disorders. If your melatonin levels are at 20% of what they should be, your brain isn't clearing toxins the way that it should. So I recommend everybody switching to ethernet, but if you're not ready for that, make sure you're unplugging it at night and when you're not using it. So phone in airplane mode, you've got your computer plugged in ideally directly to the internet, and you've got your Wi-Fi unplugged. Any internet company can do that, but you wanna have the cornet meter to make sure that they're actually not transmitting anymore. Now let's head into the bedroom. So in the bedroom, a couple things that make a big difference. Pulling your bed a little bit off the wall will decrease some of the electric fields that you're exposed to. You don't wanna sleep with your phone in the bedroom, definitely not with your phone in bed, and definitely not without it being in airplane mode. Those are all some simple changes. If you're very sensitive, you can actually go to the circuit box and turn off the breaker that's associated with your room. That helps a lot of people, especially at the beginning, as they're kind of moving from overexposure and where they're feeling agitated and stressed and their melatonin production is compromised to where their body's coming back into homeostasis. So those are some of the simple ways that you can hack your room by killing the breaker, pulling your bed off the wall, and making sure your phone isn't in the room. If you have Wi-Fi transmitting in your bedroom, get it out of your bedroom and definitely make sure that it is not transmitting while you sleep. All right, nice. So now you know how to biohack your phone by keeping it in airplane mode most of the time, ideally 80% and keeping your daily usage under three hours. You know how to biohack your laptop in your home office. You know how to decrease your exposure to microwave radiation that comes from Wi-Fi routers by preferably switching to ethernet or at a minimum getting that thing unplugged at night while you sleep. Now this is where the free YouTube version ends, but if you guys want how to biohack your phone when you're on phone calls to protect yourself, how to biohack your car, which is a big source that a lot of people don't realize, and a couple other cool ways that we're gonna share. Join our membership site. We've got unlimited lifetime access for one investment of $147. You can get that at biohackingsecrets.com slash live only offer. That's live only offer. Or you can get a cool t-shirt like this, and that will ship it anywhere in the world for free. Just let us know where you guys want it. And that is at biohackingsecrets.com slash t-shirt. You get the shirt, you get a free 30 day trial to see what the inside of the membership site, how amazing it is, what it can do for you and access this full video. Now we're gonna go outside, we're gonna cover the car and some other cool things to protect you guys. Let's go. Well, now we have smart meters and these things ping your power usage with a strong electromagnetic frequency to the power company one to six times a minute. One of my clients, Jessica, her daughter was dealing with some weird health issues and we did a deep dive assessment of her house and found out her daughter was sleeping right next to the smart meter. And we took care of that problem and now she's sleeping much better. So one of the things that I wanna tie in here is the importance of this. This is called an aura ring and you can get it at bestbiohacks.com slash aura, O-U-R-A-R-I-N-G, bestbiohacks.com slash aura. Ring. This tracks your sleep because we don't have the ability to tell how well we're getting deep sleep or REM sleep, but this ring does. And what we're seeing from smart meters and Wi-Fi routers and cell phone usage is all those things go up is our melatonin production is going down and that's impacting our brain's ability to clear toxins and protect ourselves from Alzheimer's, dementia, neurodegenerative disorders. So one of the things that I recommend doing is if you live in a state that has an opt-out program, swap out your smart meter for the old analog box. It costs about 50 bucks and then around 10 bucks a month and then you are good and you're no longer transmitting one to six times a minute. That's what I did here. Whole process took about five minutes. Very easy. Guy came, popped it off, popped the new one on and we are good. If you live in a state that doesn't have an opt-out program like Illinois where I'm from, you can get something on lessemf.com called a Faraday cage. And that Faraday cage goes over your smart meter and decreases the amount of signal that you are exposed to. And that's really beneficial. My brother got that on our house in Illinois and was able to improve his sleep by 30% overnight just by putting that box on the smart meter. So it's a really powerful way of doing that. And you can see your sleep score is going up by getting this aura ring, which we mentioned, bestbiohacks.com slash aura ring. Now let's go biohack our car. All right, we spend a lot of time in our cars, commuting to and from work, getting wherever we're going, and it can be a big source of EMFs, especially when we bring our phone into it. So here are a few tips to biohack EMFs in your car. One of the main ways is this little thing, which is called an auxiliary cord. And your, most stereos have an outlet where you can plug in the auxiliary cord. And the reason this is cool is because it allows you to turn off Bluetooth. So you no longer have Bluetooth coming from your car and transmitting from the, with the Bluetooth on your phone. You can plug directly in. Music apps like Spotify allow you to download your favorite albums, your favorite playlists, so that you could still play your music in airplane mode. And you can even use GPS by putting in your destination. And once your route is 
secure, you flip it up, put it in airplane mode, and it will get you to where you wanna go without any exposure. We don't realize that as we're driving, the signal's weak, our phone is constantly looking for the next cell tower, and that weak signal actually means more dangerous exposure for us. So those are a couple of the ways that you can protect yourself while you're in your car, and then here's a fun little hack that you can use by attaching it to your car to help discharge some of that electromagnetic stuff that we're exposed to, and it's back here. So here's a grounding strap hooked up to the car. You can also get that on lessemf.com. And if you guys want all of these resources and more tips, get yourself your free biohacker shirt at biohackingsecrets.com slash t-shirt. We'll ship it anywhere in the world for free. You get a free 30 day trial to our membership site, or you can get unlimited lifetime access for 147 bucks, one time investment. Now, what do you do when you're on your phone, right? Because you definitely don't want to be putting it up to your head. Our brain actually is very sensitive to these frequencies and it can put us in a stressed and agitated state. That's part of the reason that so many people are seeking things like yoga and meditation right now. We're trying to calm our nervous system because we've been entraining it into this high stress state with these types of devices. I use a selfie stick like this to just create a little bit of distance. All of these risks decrease exponentially with distance. Then you just plug a little adapter cord in and you could either use speakerphone or you could plug in a pair of AirTube headphones like these ones from Dr. Mercola. You can get them at mercola.com and there's no wires even going into your head. They work great. You can use them for calls. I'm on the phone for five, six hours a day sometimes and little things like this dramatically decrease your exposure. Now, the last thing for those people that aren't living in a house like this, if you're living in an apartment building or a condo, you can think about it as even if you are diligent to decrease electromagnetic field exposure on every level, you've turned off your Wi-Fi, you've swapped it for ethernet, you've got your phone in airplane mode, you still got someone above you, below you, to the left of you, to the right of you, that are all transmitting and those frequencies go through walls. So what can you do? There are little things like bed canopies that you can actually put over your bed. It looks just like a mosquito net and it protects you from some of that radio frequency, some of that microwave radiation coming from this, from Wi-Fi routers, all of that. And it works great. There's also shielding paints that you can ex explore, but those are some simple things that you can use right away to protect yourself in your office, with your cell phone, with your Wi-Fi router, in your bedroom, with your smart meter, with your car, and if you live in a condo or apartment, put them to use right away. Hope you guys dig it. Join us inside the Biohacking Secrets membership site. Unlimited lifetime access for just 147 bucks rather than $37 a month. It's a great deal. You can get that at biohackingsecrets.com slash live only offer. Hit us with your comments in the section below. I appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to you soon in another video. Take care.